Hey everyone, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak here from HasFit, and welcome to my beginner workout. This workout is going to burn a bunch of calories. We're going to gain some strength, get your heart rate up all at the same time. There's no weights required for this routine, but you may want either a couple of light hand weights or water bottles. You'll see I'm using the water bottles. You'll also want either a chair, a box, a step, even your couch will do, just something that you can put your body weight on. We're going to get right into this workout, starting with a punch out plus run in place. You're going to see we're going to get our heart rate up. I got my water bottles, and we're going to start in three, two, one. All right, so we're running in place and punching up nice and high at the same time. This is a great one to get all your muscles moving making sure to breathe throughout the whole routine. We're not gonna count any reps today. We're just gonna try to get as many in as we can during each allotted time period. Nice, good. Breathe and punch, hot feet. Go, 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 come on, let's go. Getting it started on the right foot and then the left foot. <laughs> All right, let's go, right, left, right, left. Give me 10 more seconds on this one. Burn it out, burn it out. Good, breathe, and three, two, one. Okay, keeping my water bottles, it's a two for one movement. I'm gonna row, pulling back on my elbows, and then I'm gonna straight arm fly. So it's row, pulling back on the elbows, straight arm fly. Keeping your back straight and tight, core tight, alternating between these two movements, making sure that you don't have your back hunched over Give it to me nice and straight, keeping that core tight, putting your weight back in your hips. Good, it's a great one for your back, as well as your core, and you might even get do your legs working on this one as well, holding yourself in place. Good, you got it, just a few more of this one. Back and forth, back and forth, good. And five, four, three, two, one, all right. Up in an upright position. We're gonna keep it moving today. We're gonna to go elbow to opposite knee. Elbow to opposite knee. Now you might not be able to quite get them all the way there, and that's okay. If this is all you got today, that's totally okay. Everyone has to start somewhere. Come back, repeat this workout, getting a little bit better at it every single time. Good. This is a great one for your core, legs, a little bit of glutes in there. Nice. Right and left, keeping them moving. Really want you to focus on why you are here today. Focus on what brought you here, whatever goal that is that you're working on. We're gonna keep it in mind throughout the whole routine. Good, and we're gonna use it as, as fuel. Nice, and five, four, three, two, one, zero. Moving into a touchdown plus reach up. I'm gonna hold my weights for this one. You can decide if it's right for you. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. Butt goes back. We're gonna try to touch the ground. So we're doing like a sumo deadlift, touch the ground, reach up. Touch down, reach up. So alternating between the two. If you don't feel comfortable going down deep enough to touch the ground, just right here, trying to get your hips to parallel is okay. Nice, good. Whatever you do on this movement, I want you to make sure you're breaking at your hips first and then bending your knees. Don't bend your knees first because then you end up right here. So instead, hips go back first and then reach up. But back every single time. Kick those hips back. Good. One right into the next. You got it. All the way down, all the way up. And of course, we're making sure to breathe throughout good you got it you got it give me five more seconds on this one and three two one break okay we're gonna set my water bottles down you're gonna need that chair or whatever it is you're using we're gonna get into a high plank position on it so just with yourself supported we're gonna bring your knee up and then mule kick back heel to the ceiling opposite leg Knee up, heel back, alternate. Knee up, heel back. You decide how comfortable you feel with uh, that angle that you get on. So the further I move back, 
more extreme I make that angle, the harder it's gonna be. And the closer I am, the easier it's gonna be. Again, you decide which is the right level for you today. I'm getting better a little bit every time. You got it, feeling it. Starting to feel it, guys. Getting that heart rate up. That's how we know it's working. Doing great. Sticking with it. Sticking with it today, staying focused. You got it, you got it. Breathe. Knee in, heel up. Knee in, heel up. Give me five more seconds. And four, three, two, one. Nice, okay, so we can set that to the side. We're gonna move on to a lateral juke. No weights for this one. We're gonna alternate, juking back, switching out this foot in the center with our weight in our hips. So we're just replacing this foot. Replace that foot. Now, if you don't feel comfortable, you can just step. This is good. Or you can jump side to side. But either way, I want you to stay nice and light on your feet. Keep your weight in your hips, not over your knees. Nice, come on. Feeling good, guys, it's feeling good. We're working it. Nice work, I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you so much. I know you got a lot of choices out there. Appreciate you choosing HasFit. Come on, let's go. Let's get it, guys. Nice, come on, hot feet, hot feet. Whatever your sport of choice is, picture yourself on that field or on that court, side to side, put that move on, let's go. Good, just a few more. Give me five more seconds, let's go. And three, two, one, zero, good. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the ground and, the, and on our knees, we're gonna do a push up plus shoulder touch. So from our knees, push up position, bend into our elbows, get to a 90 degree angle, not reaching with our neck, back up, shoulder touch, shoulder touch. So down, up, touch, touch. If you feel good, you can come up onto your feet and do a high plank push up or down on your knees. Again, it's all about making this workout your own and doing the movement that's right for you. Good. On the shoulder touch, I want you to try to keep your shoulders square to the ground or parallel to the ground. I don't want you to come all the way up to one side or the other. Keep that core tight. Nice. Come on. Sticking with it. Doing great so far. Pushing it, guys. Pushing it. How many of these push-ups can you get? How many can you get? Let's go. Testing yourselves. You got it. Give me a few more seconds. Almost there. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're up on our feet. We are gonna need those water bottles or light hand weights, whatever you're using for this next one. We're gonna do a staggered twist. So from a staggered position, a little bend in our back leg, we're twisting side to side. We're gonna switch halfway through. So start with one leg up and we'll switch. Good, keep that core tight. And so I don't want you just moving your arms, right? When I said I want you moving that core Using those obliques, twist side to side in those hips. You got it, good. Nice. Like you're swinging a baseball bat or throwing a punch. Use those hips. And switch, opposite side now. A little bend in that back knee. Good. Keep it up, guys. You guys are doing great. Here it is, stay focused. Like I said, think about what motivates you while you're here. Doing this for yourself. Not doing it for anybody else or what anybody else thinks. For your health, move yourself forward. Getting a little better every day. Here it is. Come on. And three, two, one. To the side they go. We're going to the wall. We're going to do a wall mountain climber. So maybe you've heard of a mountain climber before from the ground, but from the wall, we're leaning on the wall, 45 degree angle. We're going to bring one knee up at a time. I want you to have a nice angle on the wall. The closer you are to the wall, the easier it is. The further away to the wall, the harder it is. And if this is too easy for you, you can get a true mountain climber run in, alternating one leg at a time, or a little slowed down version. They're both great. You just decide where you're at today. Come on, let's go. Remember, it doesn't matter how slow you're moving, 
You're still laughing, everybody else? Sitting on the couch, not trying. Here it is. Let's go. Appreciate your effort today. You made it this far. We're going to keep on pushing. Let's go. Good. Give me five more seconds on this one. That's it. And three, two, one, zero. Nice. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, staying on the wall to a ballistic push-up. So from the wall, I'm absorbing my energy, and I'm pressing back off the wall. So from that same position, bring my chest to the wall, press off, and back. Similar to the wall mountain climber, the further away your feet are, the harder this one is. So I want you to make sure that you're not reaching your face towards the wall, but instead reach with your chest, right? So you're bending at the elbow, trying to get those elbows to a 90 degree angle. And then we're big power exploding off the wall. Nice, good. You got it, sticking with it. One right into the next. You're like a machine. Here it is, come on. Give it to me. Let's go, come on. Nice, breathe through it, breathe through it. Core tight, core tight. Give me five more seconds. And four, three, two, one, zero. Good, done with that one. What do we got next? Next we have the staggered butt kicks. We need our water bottles or hand weights for the next one. Staggered stance. Same arm up as the leg back, but we're gonna butt kick, butt kick, butt kick. So we're leaning forward, bring that heel to your butt. Good. Keep that opposite arm up. Doesn't look like much, but believe it or not, this one catches up to you. We're gonna split half and half on each side. Good, come on, let's go. Make sure to breathe, stay focused. Give me three, two, one, and switch opposite side now. And right into it, no break, right into it, let's go. Going hard and fast today, very efficient workout with our time. Every movement's hitting multiple body parts. Doing great, come on, stick with me here guys. Stick with me, boom. Boom, good, almost there, almost there. And five, four, three, two, one, good. Water bottles down, we're going to the ground. To a high plank position from our knees. We're gonna do a high plank row. So we're pulling back on our elbow, keeping our core tight. One, into, the next, yes, there it is, feel it, keeping that core tight, working your back, abs, lower back, all getting hit on this one. Good, keep those shoulders square, remember, we don't wanna be rolling this way or rolling that way. Pulling back on those elbows. Anytime you do a row, I want mean, you to pretend like you have a string attached to your elbow and you're pulling back on that string. So you're not pulling back on your hand, but your elbow instead. Good, feeling it, feeling it. You guys are doing great. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and rest. That's the end of the first round. Just one more round to go. You're halfway done. Okay, grab some water if you need it. We're going to keep the pace up in this second round because you're a little more familiar with the movements. It's a short break. Only five more seconds left on this break. Get those water bottles or hand weights for the next one. Getting started here in three, Two, we have the punch out plus run in place. And zero, let's go right into it. Like I said, short breaks today. We're going hard and fast. And we're gonna be all done. Think about how great you're gonna feel when you're all done with this workout, how proud you're gonna feel. Come on, let's go. Run in place, get those punches going. It's all about speed, how many can you get? Let's go, let out some of that stress right here. Whatever's weighing you down, Free yourself from it right here. Let's go. Come on. Push it, push it, push it. Let's go. Let's go. You got it. You got it. Pushing the pace for five more seconds in four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Moving right into our row plus straight arm fly. Row, pulling back on that elbow, straight arm fly. You got it. One right into the next. Good. Come on. Let's go. Going after it today. No excuses, you're right here, pushing with me, let's go. Don't make me work on my own. Let's go, I'm here for you guys, let's go, let's go, come on. 
You got it, you can do it. Nice, one right into the next. Like I said, I want you to be machine-like, and what I mean by that is every rep looks exactly the same, right? Just like a machine, one into the next. Not slowing down, you're a machine. Let's go, come on. You got it, you got it. Give me five more seconds of this one, that's it. And three, two, one, zero. Right into the next one, hands are on her head. Standing, elbow to knee, twist into that knee. Twist into that knee, even if it's right here, that's okay. Doesn't matter. We're here, we're moving, we're working, let's go. Come on, keep that work up. We're out here grinding. Every rep, every step, getting a little bit closer to that goal of ours. That's what it's all about. Doesn't happen overnight. Think about how long it took you to get to where you're at right now. It's gonna take a little bit longer to get in shape, and that's okay. Be patient, put in the work, be consistent, you will get there. Let's go, you will get there. Come on, let's go, come on. One into the next. You got it. Almost there. 10 more seconds on this one. And then we're done with these for the day. Good, one into the next. These two in a row, back to back, kind of make the legs burn. Three, two, one. Of course, I'm talking about the touchdown reach up, touchdown reach up. These two get those legs working, that's okay. They're burning, that's how we know it's working. Go, one into the next. Like I said, remember, if you can't quite reach all the way down to the ground, that's okay. Just keep your weight back in your hips so your hips are parallel to the ground like a squat or a deadlift, and then reach up. Good. Making sure to breathe on every repetition. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, good, good. You got it. You got it. Sticking with it. Keep fighting. Right here. Let's go. Come on. You and me, we're doing it together. You got it. Breathe. Almost there. We got five more seconds. That's it. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, we're going to set these down. We're going to grab that box, chair, whatever it is you're using. We get the high plank, ah, knee up, and mule kick. Knee up, mule kick. And if uh, whatever you're using is a little bit too low for you or too hard, if you grab like a couch, it makes it just that much easier. So something a little bit higher maybe. Just a suggestion. Again, make all these movements your own. That's really the key. We're all different. We're all gonna progress at different paces. We all have different strengths, weaknesses, but it's that fight, that drive inside of us. That's the same, We're, that's what's gonna lead us all to success. Gotta have that common element, common thread. Let's go, fighting right here, fight, fight, fight. One into the next. Good, breathe. I'm starting to get a little sweat going. It's warm in the studio today. Hope you're feeling as good as I am. Come on, pushing through. Learn to love that burn. That's that feeling of accomplishment right there. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Come on, pushing through. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Chair, box, whatever it is, is to the side. Moving into a lateral juke. So we have that one foot in the center. We're gonna go side to side. We're gonna replace that foot. Replace it, replace it, replace it. You got the hang of it. Let's pick it up now. Come on, good. So even if it's this version, you can still go faster, right? Whichever one is right for you to a safe pace that you can maintain where you're pushing yourself. Good. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get after it right here. One into the next. We're about three quarters of the way done today. Doing great so far. Stick with me. This would be that easy point to hit the pause button or say, ah, you know what? I'm good. That was good for today. No, don't do that. Stick with me. Push yourself. Push yourself to that place of being uncomfortable. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Let's get after it right here. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got it, you got it. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're going to the ground. We have those push-ups from our knees plus shoulder touch. 
So it's knee push up, shoulder touch, shoulder touch, knee push up, shoulder touch, shoulder touch. Good. One. Right into the next. Excellent work. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. You got it, you got it. Making sure to breathe. Try to get those elbows down to a 90 degree angle. Don't reach with your neck, but instead bend those elbows. So you get your da body down parallel to the ground and elbows at a 90. Come on, let's go, keeping it up. Almost there, almost there. Home stretch on this one. And five, four, three, two, one. Last one, zero, nice, okay. Grab those water bottles or weights. We're gonna do a staggered twist. So feet are staggered, weights out in front, and we're getting those abs firing right here. Fire those abs up, let's go. Side to side is a great standing abs movement. Also get your heart rate up at the same time. So we're burning some calories. Nice little two for one here. Those are my favorite movements. Anytime we can get more work in in less time. That's the goal. Because we're busy, I'm busy. I know you guys are busy. We don't have all day to be working out. Perfect world, that'd be nice, but not the real world. Okay, switch it up, switch it up. Boom, let's go right into the next, right into the next. Guys are doing great. Not a whole lot left. Keep fighting. Feel those abs start to work. Twist those abs. Not just your arms, but your abs. Good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Nice work, everybody. Nice work, get after it. Three, two, one, and water bottles down. We're going to the wall. Wall mountain climber. If you remember from the first time. So leaning back, 45 degree angle. And then we're hitting one knee up at a time. One knee up at a time, good. Or faster, get that running mountain climber. You decide where you're at today. Come on, let's go. Whichever one it is, get after it. Let's go, come on. You guys are doing great. Stick with me now, stick with me. Every rep, every step, getting you closer to that finish line. Picture that finish line, visualize it. Visualize yourself accomplishing your goal. And close your eyes, think about it. Think about what you have to do to make that happen. Whether that's a fitness goal, business goal, relationship goal. Focus, visualize it. It's the only way it's gonna come to fruition. Not gonna happen on accident. Come on, let's go, get after it for three, two, one. Moving on to the next one, we have that ballistic push-up from the wall. So we're jumping off the wall, absorbing our energy, staying on that wall, into the next one. Let's go, come on. Big time, big time right here. One push-up into the next. Big power. This one's too easy. Move your feet back further, or you can try this one from your knees on the ground. From that knee push-up position, doing an explosive jumping push-up. All sorts of varieties, modifications. You decide which one's right for you. Come on. Let's go, push yourself. Doing great so far, you're doing great. Stick with it, don't slow down. Don't slow down, one, right, into the next. So let's go, good. Give me 10 more seconds on this one, that's it, just 10 more seconds. That's nothing. You can do that in your sleep. Let's go, come on. And five, four, three, two, one, last one, zero. Grab those water bottles. Hand weights, we're gonna do a staggered butt kick. Last one of these, opposite foot back and kick. Right there, right there. Bring that heel back, keep this front knee bent for support. Opposite arm up, burning out that shoulder at the same time. That's on purpose. Yes it is, let's go, come on. One into the next, you got it. You got it, stay focused, stay focused. Switch it up for me, switch it up. Opposite side now, let's go, let's go. I don't know if you can hear, but I got a pool of sweat dripping underneath me. It's working. It's working. We can feel it, guys. We can feel it. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, one. Weights to the side. We got one more. Let's get down on the ground. Let's go. Come on. High plank position. From your knees. Let's row. Let's row. No excuses. Get down there and let's work. Come on. Right here, this is it for the day, everyone. What are you waiting for? Put it out there, let's go. Boom, 
Boom. If you want a little more of a challenge, high plank position right here. You decide which one's right for you today, but we're working. Let's go one after another. Thousands of us, maybe even millions of us doing the same workout, all feeling that same burn, all working together. None of us better than anybody else. Just out here trying to improve ourselves. That's it right here. Name of the game, getting better. Every rep, getting better, getting better, getting better. You got it. Come on. Push it out, push it out, push it out. Let's go. Almost there in five, four, three, two, one, and done. So proud of you guys for pushing through to the very end. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this workout, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really helps us keep this great service free. <sighs> Breath. <laughs> if you did like this workout, make sure you check out hasfit.com where we literally have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, free fitness programs all there for you for free. Follow us on your favorite social media platform for more motivation and inspiration. We're there putting it out 24-7, 365. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Coach Kozak, and I will see you at your next workout.